Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be doing another scam slimes versus the slimes they advertise video and in this I got a ton of slimes at conventions from loads of famous slime shops and then my next mission was to go and find all the scam slimes and so many of them had no sales and only one slime available for each so I decided to go ahead and buy an absolute ton so let me know if you guys want to see more of these videos and let's get into the video. So first up we have Slime Obsidian and his most famous slime Ultraviolet. This is a clear texture slime, it's really great, it looks amazing under studio lights under normal lighting it just looks like this purpley red color that I'm about to show here but under studio lights it turns from a purple to a blue color the more you play with it and this is a really great one just because it's so thick and obviously it films so well the scam slime however came in a really weird packaging to be honest like it came in cling film I've never received a slime in cling film before and this actually stuck so much to it it was made of a jelly texture instead of a clear one that was the first thing I noticed and the texture was also so flimsy in comparison to the real one and I just think if they advertise it for what it was which is like a jelly slime that kind of has a color shift I would probably be quite impressed especially with the price point Rainbow Frost is a really new addition to Slime Obsidian shop, so I was so shocked to see this in there. And this was really fun for me because it actually wasn't too bad. The presentation, again, was not great. It kind of had dye dropped on it, whereas the original had it all mixed in. It was also made with a different type of glue. This is clear glue, and the other one is a full-on cloud slime, which just is made with white glue. And this is just a very old cloud slime. I could see this by just pulling it apart. It was just ripping. Whereas the icy textures are a lot more sizzly, you do have to play with them quite slowly just because that texture kind of rips a lot I find in my experience but with this cloud slime like you can see here it was just filled with snow and it actually did make really nice drizzles and cloud slime is so hard to make so the shop is genuinely so talented like all you need to do is get some containers and use your own pictures and you'll do so well but obviously this wasn't what was advertised it wasn't an icy slime also this one was scented like a strawberry sherbet slushy I would say whereas the other one wasn't scented so also scents is a thing that people need to work on but apart from that both slimes were really nice they were obviously just very different in texture and also presentation. Next up we have Stargirl V2 which was one of the first slimes that I ever tried from the slime shop so I'm absolutely obsessed with it as are many people and like you can see here the replica is actually very close. As close as I think a replica scam slime could be apart from the charms they had these like weird discs in there whereas the real thing had like these stars that were really nice. So I decided that I was just going to mix it up to see what the end colour was and it actually ended up looking really nice but this had so much dye in it that it didn't drizzle like the previous card slime. It did after a while of mixing it in but definitely not at first and this turned into more of an electric blue color whereas when you kind of pulled the other one this pulled so so smoothly like it became a cloud slime immediately as soon as you pull it this smell like like green apple it was so fresh and it drizzled so slowly and smoothly it also just felt so fluffy yet thick it was just an amazing slime and this obviously had a different end color as well this one was a blue color and the original was a purple Next up we have a package from Corn with Slime and first up we have her birthday cake cake pop. Now this is a really cool one, it came in amazing packaging unlike the replica slimes. Now the replica slimes came in a bubble mailer but then inside it came in a do not bend package. So we're going to start off with the amazing slime that she gave me. The base is so thick and clicky, I was so so impressed by this. It also smelled gorgeous just like a birthday cake but I love the additional add-in. Now this came on a cardboard stick and on the top I think it was made out of daiso clay, it was so soft, it also didn't dry up at all and it had loads of sprinkles on it. So when I mixed this in I was expecting a slay slime but somehow this made a proper butter slime and I was so impressed with this because honestly normally I don't really like slay slimes, I don't mind them but they're not my favourite texture but I let this sit for you guys overnight so you guys could see how amazing this turns but like you can see this is so clay heavy and then the sprinkles all like sink to the bottom so you get a lot of texture there and I was just so obsessed with this slime, I love the colour. And then next up I had to move on to the scam slime. Now this one I just didn't 
didn't want to touch in all honesty. The slime peeled off just like a sticker. It had black dots throughout. Like it was generally just quite gross. And then when I felt it, it didn't even feel like a butter slime. And if you guys aren't aware of what makes butter slimes, it's just clay and slime. It's literally the easiest slime to make. And this just felt like it was made with tissues in all honesty. When you mix in tissues to slime, sometimes it can create a butter effect. But it also had snow fallout. So I think there was probably some of that too. Overall, it was just so weird that they added ingredients that was generally more expensive to buy and add in in such a large quantity into this slime than just clay. Fortune cookie box was one that I was so excited for just because the presentation of the genuine slime is so amazing. So it comes in a genuine takeaway box and then it comes with a real fortune cookie and then a small slime. Now I was obsessed with this. I love fortunes and I love fortune cookies. And when I opened this, it just said, how about another fortune? And then for the slime itself, it reminds me of marzipan in the scent. It's quite a thick and glossy slime. It's small, it's a four ounce. So it's a nice one to just carry around with you. And then the replica slime wasn't even a slime. It just, I don't know if it melted down. I don't know if they didn't activate it, but this, I just activated it by adding a tiny bit of activator and then taking it out. But I think it was originally a jiggly slime, which is probably why it melted down because normally when I add a tiny bit of activator in, the color and also the water doesn't fall out. So for this to fall out, I think that there must've just been water in there. And when I actually activated this, this was so thick thick like this was a good slime it didn't stretch it was really really bad at that but like if you did it really slowly then it was really nice but it doesn't scented but overall it was a good replica I don't think we have corn dogs over here in the UK. I've definitely never tried one, so I don't know what it's scented like, but I know it doesn't look like this because this looks very suspicious. Um, it's glossy. That's pretty much the only thing I can say from looking at this. It was also textured. It was kind of a butter slime, but not. The original is gorgeous. I can't say enough good things. The scent is a savory one. I didn't like it at first, but then it really grew on me and now I can't stop smelling it. It's so creamy. It's so clay heavy, but it's also just so soft and like, can just move around a lot. I really, really like it. The add-in is also clay, so if you don't want it super clay-like, you can take that out. But when you mix it in, it's so creamy and so soft. It smells so warm and amazing. I just can't go on about this one enough. I was just, I wasn't a huge fan of it at first because of the scent, but then I loved it. And then, yeah, the other one, it was scented like chocolate. Um, it looks like this. It has like pellets in it. I don't really know what it was trying to achieve in all honesty. Maybe this is what corn dogs look like with the like texture. I, I have no idea. I, I just didn't want to touch it. So this is the nice smooth one. Next up we have parakeet slimes, which are some of my favorite slimes around. And the replica for this wasn't actually too bad. It got the idea of it quite right, but the amazing thickness that makes parakeet slimes her like amazing iconic slimes was just completely taken away by this. And like you can see here, when you sink your fingers in, the shape holds, like it's really nice, really, really thick, and yet still super, super stretchy. And with this as well, it also has some like chocolate chip pieces at the bottom, which the other one did not have. And this was clicky, but also thick. And this one, the scam, one when you picked it up off of any surface whether it was in the container or not it would stick to you so this must have like a weird ingredient that kind of keeps it together Banana split was one that I was a little nervous to try just because I don't really like banana scents, but this one was definitely mixed in with something else because I really, really enjoyed it. It was very pleasant. And also the bead barrier wasn't too bad with this because normally with slushies beads, they kind of like float to the top. So when you try and get it out, it always hurts my nails or like my hands. And with this, it didn't really. And then the slime itself was so thick, no fallout whatsoever. And it was just so, so nice to play with. So next up we have the scam slime. And this came with a charm, which I was very, 
impressed with but immediately it didn't even look like there were beads in there and I think there were only a few in there because there was really no crunchy texture. It also melted again when you tried to pick it off the table so all the fun things you get to do with slushy beads aren't really possible to do with this I guess you could say. Also it wasn't scented and it was just even more melty than the previous one so I really didn't like the scan slime for this one. Last up from Parakeet we have Agave Lemonade Confetti Pop and this one actually didn't come with a scam slime. I ordered one but it didn't come with the order so I'm just going to show you the slime. This is so thick, so glossy. I love, love, love the lemon scent. It smells like a lemon cake that's really, really sweet and not like citrusy, just kind of like, I can't even describe it, but it's really, really nice. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next week.